Call of Daily Games back with the fourth or fifth episode of the Fallow Great One Grind. I kind of lost in the motion. Um, we are we're back in. I didn't kill anything. I shot a turkey, but um, I realized there is a outpost over here, which will make my life easier to get to these zones. So we're going to we're actually going to claim that in reset time and hunt these zones that I've never hunted on this part of the coast. Add these to my uh, bank of zones because I never run over here to hunt them because it's like an inconvenience for me. And they might be stacking, they might have a great one and they might just graciously have a uh, diamond. So yeah, let's uh, hunt these zones. Can't believe I never knew there was an outpost over here. Unreal. Uh, you know the drill. Eleven ten. Eleven ten's the lucky one. One minute off of eleven eleven, by the way. Um, just cause eleven eleven's a good number. By the time I usually get my stuff together. It's 11.10 anyway. We look across the river, we can see we have a fallow buck. Over there, we ain't touching those zones right this instant. As you can already see, our first zone is right there. And we have a level 3. Wonderful level 3. Setting at about... 250 yards. It's always a happy thing. He should be dropping. He is dropping. And from that zone, we were about 400 ish yards away, so. We can confidently claim this guy, or we can confidently shoot that guy and manage our distance. But just be careful with these zones. If you have these zones unlocked, be careful because you can blow them out easily because they're close to each other. So only shoot one animal from these two and one from these two. Only shoot one from these two and one from these two. And then this one is far enough apart, I believe you should be able to shoot two from. But yeah, only shoot one from these two these two and then you should be able to shoot two from this one that's if I'm correct I don't know if I am but we're going to want to stop running right about now kind of peek across nothing right there can't see that far anyway with these binocs or binos, as people call them. Good thing we're only taking one, because I believe there only is one at this zone. The rain is making our life easy as well. We're sneaking up on this guy. Uh, we switched the 22 out, by the way, to the Zarza 22. Just because it is quieter and just like easier all around to hit shots with instead of that pistol in case we did want to. That should be a good shot and it is. And he's down right there. Perfect. So let's run up on this hill. Claim this one. Go claim that one and as you guys can see. Hunting pressure is showing very strong too. But just make sure you guys are careful with your zones, and you guys should be very fine with hunting out of them. And like I, I just recently. I believe this first zone 
or either the first or second zone on right here is I, yeah it's this first one is all females and a little tip on herd management leave your female zones because that will push more males to spawn at other zones um, and honestly if you want if you only have a zone producing like twos and threes you can shoot the males down and force a female zone and then that'll spawn more um, males at other zones and provoke more zones to spawn in general because there is 40 possible zones but I have what I believe is all of them on the all of like the decent zones on Te Aroa unlocked and what I believe to be the best zones I don't want to scare these away that's why I'm just regular walking right now then you're gonna want to crouch walk at a hundred that's just like the method that I find best because once we get right up on this hill we should be able to just sneak a shot in at them yeah but these are far enough spaced apart you should be able to shoot one from each of those two one from each of these two and then two from this one fairly I said that like five times already but fairly confident that's how it should work Um, but yeah, I hope these are good zones I can add into my rotation now. I'll just have to, every other rotation, hunt these ones to allow hunting pressure to die down. Because you can see my hunting pressure is impeccable. I'm good at managing my hunting pressure for my zones. Hurry up and pull out the binos. Okay, so I believe nothing spawned here, which that could very well just happen. Nothing spawns, or you could be like me and full sprint into a full herd of them, because you thought nothing spawned, so there's a four, and okay, so now I know this zone holds two fours, I'm going to leave those go and come back another time and hunt those fours because I definitely want those done done so I definitely want to smoke those fours see the only issue with hunting these zones is you can't see around the hills so you kind of have to just hope that they don't hear you. There's a massive herd right there. Oh my god, this herd's big. That one looks decent. That's a three. There's a three, this herd is huge. I've never hunted this herd, there's a two. There's a three. Okay, so there are some big ones up here. Um, again, walk slow. Slow walk, there's a three right there. It's only a solo one though. We ain't gonna take him. I don't regret not taking those either. Because we do have all of these. Uh, I'm going to gun for. I'd say the. I'm gonna try hitting two of them. Not with one bullet. Just in general, I'm going to try hitting two. So I dropped. Oh, okay, I hit two shots and dropped two, so you can see the hunting pressure is very purple now. 
because of that. But I'm perfectly okay with that because those were two very... Well, one of them wasn't all that big. I don't think. I don't know. This is just a big herd. And I never hunted here. But I am happy to now have these zones that I can hunt these ones. Fast travel, hunt these. Fast travel, hunt. Fast travel, hunt. Fast travel, hunt. Fast travel, and hunt. And then repeat my cycle of coming this way. So I am happy that I now have a full cycle instead of just trying to piece together a cycle to come and hunt. We got two vital shots. We hit this one in the neck. And we hit this one. This is a high bleed rate. I, we might have hit heart. Yeah, that's a high bleed rate, so we definitely hit heart or we just double long. No, we just double longed and it produced a high bleed rate. But I'm very happy we have our uh, shit figured out. It's actually making me kind of like excited for this hunt now because I've figured a lot of it out. I'm just hoping to see a diamond over here one day. Like one time I spawn in, I'm just hoping to see one that's just outrageously massive. Is that a, it's a mating call, okay, perfect. Thought it was a warning call for a second, I was gonna cry. Oh shit, we have a solo zone over there. Okay, we're gonna leave the solo zone alone. Reasoning. Uh, we're going to hunt this zone quite a bit. We're gonna try getting two out of this one to see if it will push any to that solo. I don't care if I hit a doe. Give me a doe dead. Like, give me a dead doe. And I'll be happy. You give me a dead doe and I'll cheer and do it. Only reason. The only reason I want a dead doe. is because we don't have to claim it and that is what is also known as hunting that zone down um, but we might as well I guess take this one if we're over here that was a good shot right behind the shoulder he's dropping he ain't gonna make it anywhere if we look around I don't see a doe slumped over and we blew, we didn't eliminate that zone. So we have three fallow zones here at this lake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try force spawning fallow at these zones. Now that I know they are here and they are not blown out. And the easiest way to force spawn fallow would be to just hunt one zone. Because this zone right here, the one that I'm standing in that I took this one from, is my biggest zone. Like I have at least 50 that spawn in this zone alone and I know that I now have a zone there that should be a solo zone but still exists same with this one
But now that I know that these zones are like still here, I can safely come back and expect at least one animal to spawn over here now. As well as that whole herd over there. Because it'll probably flip flop where I shoot an animal over here and then one spawns at that zone. And then one spawns over here, they'll probably take turns back and forth. If I understand that correctly. I don't know if I do. But I mean... Fuck, it's only 12.08 in game 2, so we do have a lot of time left. Man, them damn turkeys. Pests. Uh... But if you guys are... Look at me. Okay. Okay, TikTok's broken. I ain't even trying to do some bullshit. I'm just. What's going? That ain't bad. So we are actually. I'm like gatekeeping my own TikTok. If you guys are interested in the TikTok and Twitch, the Twitch is. I believe, I, you know what, I'll link, try linking those to my channel, but the TikTok is all lowercase, Todd Daily Games, as one big word, and the Twitch, the Twitch is uh, Todd underscore Daily underscore Games, capital TDG, um, but yeah, those are the platforms that I kind of huddle around posting content on, at least for the time being, just with it being like trying to grow on YouTube and trying to settle that whole copyright strike thing with the Africa video that I had planned, and with it being a bust, I didn't want to not have content put out so I just recorded a shit short form content TikTok and I'm whiffing all my shots not no more though because I hit a steezy shot on that one should be able to hit another one right there I can't but he's dead right there I mean I fucked that up didn't hit long or nothing. I might have saved it that second shot. I think I did save it with the second shot. But uh yeah, if you guys are definitely interested in the TikToks and everything, I'd go check those out. We're doing decent on TikTok views wise. Um YouTube over on here we're doing decent and then on Twitch we're starting to gain some traction actually on Twitch. We're starting to pick it up a little. But, um... Twitch, we currently have 16 followers. And we've been live streaming the hell out of Twitch recently. With a bunch of streams. A bunch of... Very, very, very long streams. Some streams even breaking four hours on Twitch. With the Whitetail and Fallow Grind. Mainly the Fallow Grind recently, though. It's been consuming my life. And, um... Yeah, but if you guys are interested in the... Uh... TikTok and Twitch... I'll try linking those into my description and like my uh, about my channel type thing. But yeah, I'll definitely try getting that for y'all. And but after we claim this one, we're just going to. 
reset back to where we were as we're coming up on this one. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for all the support that you guys truly do give me. It's I love all the support. It's very heartwarming, but thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.